But first, one man is under arrest after he opened fire on Interstate 95 this morning in Martin County. The incident sending one person to the hospital. WPTV News Channel 5's Josh Navarro live in Martin County with the details. Josh. John and Tanya, Martin County Sheriff William Snyder says it was a man from Ocala that was driving northbound on I-95 and for whatever reason started firing multiple shots at passing vehicles as he was driving. All of this happened around 6 o'clock this morning on I-95 northbound between Hobbs Sound and Palm City. Authorities were made aware of all of this after a man pulled over and called 911 with complaints of sudden pain without realizing he had been shot. Deputies at the scene say the bullet came through the victim's vehicle door and hit him in the stomach area. He was flown to St. Mary's Medical Center as and is in stable condition. Now, shortly after, an off-duty Riviera Beach police officer who was heading northbound in the same area stopped to assist a driver who crashed off the side of the road. The officer got out of his car and saw the suspect, 35-year-old Aaron Chase Fedukovic, walking out of a wooded area holding a gun. Fedukovic appeared also to have been shot in the arm he was ordered to drop the gun and was taken into custody without incident while the officer was waiting for backup. Sheriff Snyder says they're also investigating a second car who could have been hit by the same suspect. The thing that's so perplexing about this, so inexplicable, is that there was no reason for it. It wasn't a road rage. You know, you think about these things in a road rage. It wasn't a domestic where where uh, a spouse sees another spouse and takes a shot. These are just two law-abiding motorists driving on I-95, feeling safe in their car, and they both take projectiles uh, from, from an assailant who, who they don't know and for which there's no explanation. Now, Sheriff Snyder says it was uh, the suspect used a 9 millimeter pistol. Fedukovic was treated at a local hospital and was taken into custody. He is charged with aggravated battery and is being held on a $50,000 bond. For now, we're live in Martin County. I'm Josh Navarro, WPTV News Channel 5.